We'll go ahead and start our meeting. I will call the April 24, 2017 public hearing and regular business meeting of the Snellville Mayor and City Council to order. First order of business will be the invocation, and tonight will be led by the Reverend Trey Hildebrand from 12 Star. Good evening, Reverend. Hey, guys. Let's pray. So, Father, in moments like this, as the Snellville City Council gathers, I'm reminded that your sovereign hand put them into a position of leadership and authority. And so we ask for that to be seen tonight. We ask for uh, your goodness and your grace to guide conversations, for wisdom to, to abound and to, to go forward, and for, um, for compassion and gentleness and patience and love for this city to be what dictates decisions. We thank you for them, we thank you for their hearts for you and for this community. We trust you and what you're doing. And it's in the name of Jesus that I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, sir. Thank you. Next we'll have the uh, Pledge of Allegiance. And tonight the Pledge of Allegiance will be led by the Snowball Youth Commission members, the new members. So if you will come forward and give us some pledge, I appreciate it.
the Arbor Day Proclamation. Um, I'll read the proclamation. It's already been signed. There's no one here to, to uh, accept it tonight. So I'm just going to sign it <coughs> and set it in the record. Yeah. Let's go to our minutes. I have a motion to approve the minutes of the April 10th, 2017 meetings. Motion to approve the minutes of the April 10th, 2017 meetings. There's a motion on the floor. Do I have a second? Second. There's a motion and a second. Do I have any discussion of council? No discussion to call the question. All those in favor signify by raising your right hand. That's six in favor, the minutes stand approved. There's a discrepancy on my agenda as proposed to the published uh, agenda, so I apologize for that. Um, but we have the distribution of entre Entrepreneurship Alliance Youth Business Licenses. Uh, Eric, would you join me down here, please, for that? The mayor and council members are proud of all the young people that worked so hard to launch their own business during the 2016-17 school year. At South Carolina High School, there are eight students that have applied for entrepreneurship business licenses. The business license is a requirement to participate in the 2017 Shark Tanks scheduled for May 2nd and 3rd. In addition, Grayson Tech and Brookwood High have students who have received youth business licenses. Today, we are distributing licenses to the South Gwinnett students. Businesses are one of the blood, black bloods of any city, and certainly one of here in Snow. Tutoring. 
and you also have Akeja Charles with the key images. She's a photographer as well.
bring your dancing shoes and join us. Uh, we'll also have a silent auction to benefit the Veterans Memorial from 4 to 8. And uh, we have a, at 6 p.m., join us at, as Lincoln Fill Station taps the one-of-a-kind beer, the Snellville Memorial Summer Ale that was actually made especially for the memorial. So we're excited about that, too. Um, bring in food, for, food Truck Friday back. It'll be the first Friday of every month from June through October. So join us for great food and fun. Farmer's Market is ready to go and just about full with vendors for the season. The community garden has also rented all the beds in the garden plus some. There will be a rain barrel class on April 30th and the cost is $35 per person. After class, you can leave with a fully functioning rain barrel. For the first time ever, the greenhouse at the community garden is having a plant sale on April 30th starting at 4.30 p.m. Proceeds will benefit the maintenance of the greenhouse. Both the rain barrel plants and the plant cell is open to the public. Very exciting for the garden and hope you will join us. Any questions? Any questions for Ms. Macklin? Thank you very much, Kelly. Sounds like you're going to get your sneakers on. You're going to be busy for the next five or six months. <laughs> Okay, we do not have any public hearing this night, nothing on the uh, consent agenda, so we'll go to whole business consideration action on approval of the municipal court plan schedule. Do I have a motion? I'd like to make a motion to table indefinitely the municipal court plan schedule. There's a motion on the floor. Is there a second? Second. Motion is second. Is there further discussion of council? Um, we're just postponing this. Um, for a while longer, there's still some issues that we need to go through on, on setting the fines and the fees for the court. Anything else? If not, I'll call the question. All those in favor of tabling the uh, municipal form court fine schedule, please, uh, please signify by raising your right hand. That's six in favor, and it's tabled. Consideration and action on approval of RES 2017-06, approval of contract for sale of 2686 Springdale Road. Mr. Emanuel. This is the old police station. It has been on the market for probably eight to ten years. We finally do have an offer, and uh, I'm going to make a motion that we approve RES 2017-06 which is the approval of the contract for the sale of 2686 Springdale Road. There's a motion on the floor. Is there a second? Second. There's a motion and a second. Any further discussion of council? Seeing none, I call the vote. All those in favor, see the five by raising your right hand. <laughs> That's six in favor. Contract is approved. Under new business consideration and action on election of Mayor Pro Tem, do I have a motion? Motion to enact Barbara Bender for our Mayor Pro Tem. And actually, it's a continuation of her service. There's a motion on the floor. Is there a second? Second. There's a motion to second. Any discussion of council? Seeing none, call the question. All those in favor, signify by raising your right hand. That's six in favor. Five, five, five in favor, one abstention. Sorry. Snow Youth Commission New Student Induction, Ms. Linsky. Essays. It's a pretty profound task. 
they did an excellent job. They also had to go through a, a team interview, and with their score, they have been invited to join the Snellville Youth Commission. And we do have a number of members that are continuing on. Of course, we are losing some due to graduation. So we want to keep the organization strong. So we are also very pleased to have with us this year some students from Brookwood High School, Shiloh High School, as well as South Gwinnett. So all of the greater Snellville area will be represented. We asked Grayson, but they actually decided to start their own youth commission. Okay. All of the students will be receiving one of our city name tags as soon as they arrive. So please come forward. We're going to swear you in tonight so you will take the official oath and be recognized. First from Shiloh High School, Daniel Kibraji Keaton. Y'all ready? Okay. 
Okay, raise your right hand. Repeat after me. I, I do solemnly swear and affirm that I will faithfully perform the duties of the Snow Blue Youth Commission of the City of Snow and I will support and defend the Charter of the City as well as the Constitution and Laws of the State of Georgia as well as the Constitution and laws of the state of Georgia. And of the United States of America. And of the United States of America. Congratulations. <laughs>
And the, the adult leader says, you know, after noticing that there is always one explorer that stands out during most of the, during most during the competition, the Snow Police Explorer Brass decided to create the MVP title. An honor that is given to either the explorer most responsible for the post success or an explorer that truly shines during the competition. During the Scout Show Explorer Competition, a physical fitness event was held. Originally going to help role play for an event, Cheyenne Sartan of the Snowball Police Explorers decided to test her ability in the physical fitness event and became the first female to successfully finish the event including dragging a 165-pound dummy across a field. And just so you know, I'm, I'm at 215, so it wasn't me. <laughs> Due to her perseverance, Shan ended up winning first place in the event and being named MVP by her captain. As an added bonus, Captain Elrod from the Arrow Ventures Flying Club out of Gwinnett promised to take the most deserving child for a helicopter ride, a bonus that went to Cheyenne. Cheyenne was able to fly co-pilot over Lake Lanier and back and for all of her efforts. But again, it's, it's you know, these, and I want to mention the adults that help this group, such as the adults that help Christy and, and her youth council. They give of their time, energy, heart to go do these things, and these kids respond in an amazing way. And the youth here tonight, you guys will respond in an amazing way when you're out there with us. And we appreciate that. But it's just always something good going on in the city. You don't have to look far to see something positive. And uh, sometimes that's just, we need to look more at positive than we do the negative. So just my two cents. You got a lot of entrepreneurs. You can shop local. You got to get that out. And uh, thank you all for being here. And thank you all for giving me the opportunity to sit in this chair. Mr. Mr. I want to thank or congratulate the new Snow Youth Commission students. And I also want to thank the teachers here, the teachers here, South Burnett, for uh, in Shiloh, yeah, for your teaching the future, essentially. That's it. Ms. Lynch? You've already heard from me, so no report. Ms. Bender, congratulations on your reappointment. Thank you, and thank you for my um, for the to the support for, for the support of the council members. We're all kind of tongue tied up here tonight, but just my congratulations as well for all of you um, new members of the Snowball Youth Commission. It is a big responsibility. We do expect a lot as investors in the city, but we know that you're up to the task, and we're excited to to watch you grow and develop over these next couple of years um, and being involved in the city. And hoping that you'll fully engage, and then also help your other your friends and neighbors also get engaged as well. So thank you and welcome. That's it for the council reports or manager report. I just want to thank y'all for coming tonight. Uh, it was uh, great to see all the new youth commissioners. We look forward to working with you over this next year. Uh, it's a big commitment you made, but I think you'll get much more out of it than you put into it. So we look forward to. Uh, don't forget, uh, snuggle days won't be uh, won't, it'll be here before we know it. Make sure y'all come up. It's going to be bigger and better this year than uh, in the past. It's always growing. Our, our parks department does a great job with that. So please uh, make, make tell your friends and neighbors and come out. I think that's all that I have. And now we'll open it up for public input. Anybody who'd like to speak on any subject, please come forward. Give your name and address for the record. Marcy Fair, 1749 Richfield Drive. Just want to say today was our Blue Lake Golf Tournament, and I want to thank everyone for their support. We had 112 players. That's like more than double last year. So thank you all, and now we can hire our four canine officer. Thank you. Safely, and we'll see you all in two weeks.